What's up guys? Today, I want to continue from the video we spoke about yesterday, the full body push pull system for maximum training gains. I didn't talk yesterday about the rep ranges to use. This needs its own video. So you're training your entire body. You're pressing, you're pulling, you're squatting, you're hinging, and you're rotating your core. You're doing that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or you're doing the push-pull, which is push muscles Monday and Thursday, pull muscles Tuesday and Friday. You could do upper body Monday and Thursday, lower body Tuesday and Friday. Simple, easy. What rep ranges? And let me break that down for you. When we talk about rep ranges, we need to think about what are we trying to accomplish? You want to accomplish Herculean strength and massive muscular size, hopefully as lean as possible. You want that superhero physique, that round, granity, contracting, elastic physique. That's what we're going to build. What rep range is ideal? Three to six is, is the first block of reps that we're going to be focused on. Three to six repetitions are ideal in building bone crushing strength. Further, you build a very specific type of muscle fiber or really you express a very specific type of action within that muscle fiber group. That's what builds the, the Branch Warren, the Kirk Kurowski, the Dorian Yates style of physiques. We could also talk about the 8 to 12 rep range, which is an amazing rep range also for building longer term muscular contractile strength, more time under tension, but also building that round, sweeping, full, broad type of musculature. You could think of a flex wheeler or a, a Sean Clarita in that conversation. You need to train both rep types. You need to train three to sixes for an extended period of time. You do need to train the eight to twelves, in my opinion, for a lesser period of time. And I'll talk about how to put this into a greater cycle in our next video tomorrow. But training inside that three to six rep range on, on multi-joint compound movements, standing overhead barbell military presses, training, let's say you're doing uh, four sets of four repetitions. You're moving some weight. You're moving some real weight. And if you're using perfect form from the, the, the floor to the top of your head, if you're using perfect form, biomechanically correct form, and you're moving that weight, whew, you're going to get strong and you're going to look it and you're going to start building dense muscle tissue usable muscle tissue, the type of muscle tissue that when people bump into you at the coffee shop, they bounce off of you. That's what we're talking about. And this is, this is everybody listening right now. Any, any high school student, any college graduate, any office worker, any barista, any contractor, any weed dealer, whatever you do, this is the way you train and you don't have to train that often to look like that and to feel like that and to have that. And also when you're training in the eight to 12 repetition range, the weight is lighter, not tremendously lighter, but light enough that you can squeak out an extra four to six or so repetitions on top of just that four rep set. Again, we train the three to six rep range, we train in the eight to 12 rep range. Set wise, what's the proper sets? And I don't think as much in term of sets. I just think of the proper execution of the exercise itself. There, and there's different types of sets. There's, there's straight sets and there's supersets and there's cluster sets and there's staggered sets and there's you know force rep sets and there's extended sets and then rest pause sets and there's all these different types of sets. That gets confusing. It, it really does. What we try and focus on is, is, is total load. How much weight did you move that day? So if you, if you move a, 100 pounds one time, your total load was 100 pounds. If you move 100 pounds 10 times, your total load was 1,000 pounds, pretty simply. So we kind of focus on the load and that gives us a good estimate. What we find is when you're training in that three to six or so rep range, the goal is five. Like the goal is, is, is five. I'm trying to hit a perfect five rep set. I'm trying, and then I'm trying to hit 
four, typically four to five perfect five rep sets at that same weight. Once you can do that, it's time to go up. Once you're hitting sets of six, it's time to go up. So that weight drops down into a cleanish three, a hard four before you bag the set. That way you're constantly pushing gains. You're constantly stimulating new growth. That's the goal here. But again, we only train until technical breakdown, never until total muscular failure. We do not bounce. We do not cheat. We do not cheat. And the older I get and the more athletes I work with, the more I realize this is, this is key. This is so important. Unless you're an, a, an advanced level athlete with decades of training experience, there's no body English that should be involved. And even those athletes, they do it because there's a calculated risk at the level that they're moving weight and the, the level that they might be competing. When you're training for maximum progress, you got to cut that out. Train hard. Train perfectly, but stop when you achieve technical breakdown. That allows you to safely move forward into the next day, the next set, the next training session. Three to six. Now the eight to twelves. Eight to twelve reps, guys, you can still train multi-joint compound movements, and you should. 100% you should. You shouldn't be going to the machines. You shouldn't be going to the cables. You shouldn't be focused on any of that stuff. You should be training just as hard. You should have that same attack attitude. You should be so focused when you walk in the gym for the eight to 12 rep series that it, it, you should get anxiety because you know how deep you're gonna have to go into your own soul in order to hit those perfect reps, in order to force your body one more day to make progress. Day after day after day after day. That's what this is. Every day you go back in the gym, you gotta hurt more. You gotta dig deeper because you dug as, as deep as you could yesterday and now you're back. So you gotta dig deeper. When you're in that eight to 12 rep range, ooh boy, you're digging deep. You're hurting, you're burning, your whole body screaming at rep six to stop. And you gotta fight your way through to eight, to 10, to 12. That's, that's, that's where, that's where you can live. Now on yesterday's video, I spoke about Mike Mentor and Dorian Yates' high intensity, their high intensity training, the heavy duty training, the blood and guts training system. These guys were working up to really two working sets, two true all out working sets per muscle group. Dorian kind of had a little more of a hybrid, I think because of the, the drugs allowed for more of a hybrid than maybe back in Menser's day. Many people think that and that, that does kind of make sense. But at the same time, even as a natural athlete, you can still train without the drugs and make these maximum gains. Like I said yesterday, this, this is for natural athletes. This is how you train when, when you're drug free and you're just trying to hit your gains and make your best possible progress. But the drug assisted athletes, they grow 10x, they grow 1000x on these type of programs. And, and that's fine also. So if it works for the natties, it will always, always, always work for the assisted. So Menser and Yates, what they did, they warm up and they would, they would go deep into these eight to 12 rep sets essentially. And what that does, that builds that big round, but also thick, deep granite muscle type. And if you think about those two physiques, you look at those two physiques, wow, those guys, that would be scary. I mean, they look like, you know, the, the, the Spartan warriors on steroids is what they, they freaking look like. Where some other athletes, just look really pretty when they, they, they don't um, prescribe to th this exact style of training. There's an aesthetic pretty to it, but they don't also have that compact, deep, um, granite muscle fiber type. That's why it's important, one of the reasons why it's important to train, to spend time in the three to six rep range and the eight to 12 rep range. Now, set-wise, again, I said like, we think about volume and we think about total load. And what we found is about, you know, 20 to 40 total reps per muscle group. And that's not individual muscle group. That's kind of like major movement. If I'm doing 20 reps at 80 to 90% of my one rep max in the standing overhead barbell press, the first rep sucks. <laughs> the first rep is hard. And you can develop even progress just from that first rep. 
But when you're 18 reps deep and you're keeping that form perfect and you are, this is another part of it in video four I'll talk about, you, you're very strictly managing your rest period in between, in between each set. You see how big this goes, guys and girls? So yesterday I gave you the concept of the full body and the push-pull. Today we're talking about the rep ranges. Three to six reps for a series of time and eight to 12 reps for a series of time. Inside those reps, we're looking for about 20 or so perfect repetitions. On the eight to 12 rep days, what you can do is you can simply split that into two different exercises per individual muscle group, let's say. And on the, the three to six rep days, you can spread that on one major exercise, deadlift. Do a, a 10, 10 cluster sets of doubles in the deadlift. That's 20 total reps. You can go home and you're gonna grow, right? Cluster sets of, of doubles at like 93% of one RM. And you manage the rest in between, maybe, maybe, you know, 15 to 45 seconds in between big bursts. Come on now, this is craziness. You know how big and strong you're gonna get? I hope you're I hope you're a 14 year old right now listening to this. I hope you're a 24 year old right now listening to this. I hope you're a 34 right now listening to this. Because I just gave you guys 6 months of non-stop gains. If you didn't listen to, if you didn't watch the next two videos, just watching these two videos. Gains. Gains. Send me a check. Check in the checks in the mail, Dolce. Thank you. Just do this and watch how watch how sick everything is. Watch how it changes. I hope you guys like this video. Feel free to, to um, leave some questions below, which I, I appreciate. Um, this, this didn't start out to be the series that it's gonna be right now. It started out just yesterday. I, I had some questions that people were asking me. I talked about the push-pull full body, and then people started asking all about the questions. A lot of private message, lots of DMs on Instagram, which you guys can follow me at the Dolce Diet. I am, I'm, I'm very active on there in, in real time. Um, and it's all about the rep ranges. Cool, with the rep ranges, say, well, okay, we got the rep ranges, but now how do we fit these into cycles, into training cycles? How do you stack the threes, three to sixes onto the eight to twelves? How do they fit? Is it every workout, three to six and eight to 12 rep set? No, it's not. Is it every other day? No, it's not. Weekly, yeah, but how many weeks in between? Is it three and three, or is it, is it, is it four and two? Is there a deload in between? You guys need to hear all this, and I, I can share all this with you. Um, and then I'll, I'll just, we'll just keep growing this as, as the questions go. So again, I appreciate you guys for, for being here. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Leave a thumbs up um, if you like the content in this video. And until next time, boom.